thank you for the presentation. Uh, so hello everybody, donc I'm Marc Lambert and I, I will pr uh, present you the variational approximation of the Kushner optimal filter. So first, uh, I will uh, tell some words about the Kalman filter on OEC or the Kushner optimal filter is related to the Kalman Bussy filter. So first, uh, the Kalman Bussy filter uh, is defined for a linear state space uh, representation. So it's uh, it composed of uh, two uh, different st stochastic differential equations. So here the first one is uh, describes the dynamic of the system, so linear dynamic plus a noise, which is modeled with a model by a Brownian motion. And for the observation, there is a linear model also. We observe the state x, uh, and we obtain observation z. z and uh, it's defined also in continuous time with a uh, Brownian motion. But when we have both equations in continuous time uh, like this, uh, we can construct the kalman bussy filter. So the aim of the kalman bussy filter uh, is to estimate uh, the state of the system, uh, which is supposed initially uh, here Gaussian, and to estimate it uh, at each time. So uh, first uh, we need to propagate uh, the state, and uh, then we need to update the state when a uh, new observation comes using Bayes' rule. And uh, what is nice is, uh, in the linear case, uh, there is closed form formula for the mean and the covariance of the Gaussian at each time. Uh, and these formula are given by the differential equation. And uh, in these differential equations, we see here for the mean, there is uh, the propagation part, which corresponds to this uh, equation. For the covariance, the propagation part is here. Uh, and they look like the Riccati equation. And for the update part, there is this part of equation. <coughs> And in Kalman, we say that here is the gain, the Kalman gain, and this uh, part is the, uh, the error <coughs> of uh, predictions uh, of the filter. And for the covariance, here is the part related to the update. So this, this both uh, right side part correspond to the equations. So to illustrate, illustrate it on a just a simple example, uh, if we consider a 2D example, we start from a Gaussian. So we are in 2D, we have a Gaussian, and we represent the Gaussian with an ellipsoid. And the true, uh, the true object is in red, and uh, we don't know exactly where is the object, but we know uh, we have an uncertainty. So in the propagation step, we, uh, we inflate the ellipsoid because uh, we have no observation, so the uncertainty will increase with the dynamic. And in the observation step, we suppose we have a, a sensor which observes the, the object but with also uh, covariance of error represented by an ellipsoid in blue. And the aim of the Kalman in the update state is to fuse the propagate uh, prior and the covariance of uh, the sensor to obtain a posterior. And we loop, uh, we propagate and we update, we propagate and we update. In the, and in the continuous case, all this uh, stuff is done continuously in time. Uh, in this example, uh, the, the dynamic was linear, but the observation here is not linear because uh, there is a projection effect. So in uh, most cases, mm -hmm. the models are not linear. So the question is, uh, what about the solution in a non-linear case? So the first solution uh, we, is to linearize locally uh, the equations, the dynamic equation and the observation equations, uh, to come back to the linear case, and it's called the extended Kalman filter. The second solution is to approximate globally the optimal solution, and we'll uh, investigate now this uh, second solution. And uh, I'll introduce you now the Kushner filter. So we consider now a nonlinear dynamic. So uh, here we have uh, the dynamic model, where we suppose the dynamic derives from a potential. And here we have an observation model in continuous time, uh, which is uh, also nonlinear. And uh, in this case, uh, what is nice is there is also closed form formula for the distribution. So this, the distribution is, uh, oh sorry, there is a mistake here. This is, is not Gaussian here. It's not, it's not Gaussian in the general case a anymore. <laughs> it can be any distribution in this case. And the, the equations, uh, the, the distribution satisfies this equation, which is the Kushner equation of the filter. So in this case, uh, P can, can be any uh, distribution, not uh, uh, multimodal distribution, for example, for any distribution. 
smooth enough. And uh, if we uh, just take a look on these equations, we have a first part which is a Fokker Planck equation, and the second part which is a Kushner equation. And this first part corresponds to the PDE associated to uh, this uh, SDE, and the second part corresponds to the PDE associated to this EDE. So it's quite complicated, so uh, if you uh, don't understand uh, all, all, all the terms here, it's not a problem, because we'll simplify that, we'll rewrite in a different form to, uh, to solve this, uh, these equations. Uh, indeed, uh, this, uh, this uh, partial derivative, derivative equation is not tractable in the general case, so the trick is to approximate the true uh, distributions with a simpler distribution, a Gaussian for example but here globally not uh, located. Uh, so we consider uh, <coughs> variational inference <coughs> to approximate these uh, distributions. So various, uh, variational inference use the kullberg ever divergence between two distributions. At right, we have our true uh, distributions, multimodal, for example, uh, very complicated. And at left, we we'll consider here a Gaussian uh, distribution, so uh, what we call the variational Gaussian approximation. And uh, we we'll see that we can do that for the Fokker-Planck uh, part. Uh, these, these equations can be approximated with the Gaussian using this Kullberg divergence, mm -hmm. with some method we'll introduce now. And these equations can be also approximated with the Gaussian with another kind of method. So we'll, uh, now, uh, I will now explain that uh, in two parts. First, for the Fokker-Planck equations, and the uh, second part will be for the, uh, the Kushner equations. So remember, Fokker-Planck is to propagate uncertainty, and Kushner is to update the uncertainty when observation comes. So first, Fokker-Planck. So to rewrite the, the Fokker-Planck equations uh, in a tractable way, uh, we use two properties of the dynamic. So the, the dynamic here is the Langevin dynamic. Hein, I recall the, we have supposed the dynamic uh, function is derived from a potential V. And uh, in this case, the Fokker-Planck equations follow uh, this uh, kind of uh, partial derivative equation. Uh, the third property is that uh, when the time goes to uh, infinite, uh, the asymptotic solutions is uh, a Gibbs distribution. So uh, it takes this form. So okay. And uh, this property is used, for example, in optimization. It's not the case uh, of this presentation but we can use property in uh, optimization. For example, you, you propagate the particles uh, using the Langevin dynamic, and uh, these uh, properties say you that uh, after some time, this particle will describe this Gibbs distribution. So if you want to estimate this Gibbs distribution, you can propagate particles using Langevin dynamic. But here we don't use that. Here we want to do filtering. So we are not interact in, interact in the stationary regime, but in the transcend regime. So we'll just pick the distributions of uh, of x uh, a long time. Second property we use uh, for the Langevin dynamic is uh, the associated focal part equations can be rewritten like that. So it's uh, what what is that? So here it, the time is discrete now. So we solve in fact a discrete optimization problem where the loss is a global error divergence but uh, for the, uh, with respect to the Gibbs distributions, I have introduced in the previous slide, and regularized by the Weierstrass distance. So it's a proximal loss, and it's very classical and proximal. We have the loss and a distance which correspond to the geometry uh, where uh, leave the solution we search. Uh, so I recall here the Weierstrass distance, the optimal transport distance. And uh, here is in discrete time, and to, uh, to GKO in, a, in their similar paper, they show that the sequence of solutions in discrete time can be uh, constructed uh, to, uh, to give the solution in continuous time when the discrete increment goes to zero to these <coughs> equations. So in fact, if we solve these equations, so what we want to do is to approximate the, the solutions by Gaussian. If we solve these, equa the, these equations, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have at the limit the solutions of the Fokker-Planck equation. So the <coughs> remark is just, OK, here is the exact uh, optimization problem. We want to only, we are only interested in Gaussian distributions, so why let's replace P by a Gaussian. 
And in fact, it's what we do, and what is nice is the Wasserstein distance is now a Beer's Wasserstein distance, and uh, there is analytical form, and we can compute the derivative with respect to the mean uh, on the covariance of the blockchain research to solve this thing. And in fact, if we do that, and if we let the time, uh, go, uh, the increment of time goes to zero, we obtain uh, Riccati-like equations for the mean on the covariance of the Gaussian. But now the matrix A is not constant, and B is not constant. Uh, they depend on the expectations of the current distribution. So it's a coupling, uh, the equations are coupled. Okay, so we have approximate globally uh, the, the first part of our problem, the propagation part. So uh, if we, you can, you can uh, integrate the, the differential equations, and we obtain a series of Gaussian, we convert to the Gibbs distributions. So in filtering, we'll only keep uh, track on this, uh, on this Gaussian. But now we have to introduce uh, the observations. Uh, before that, uh, just I, uh, I, I, will, I will go quick, quick on that, but just to sum up, we have a, a, a stochastic differential equation, Fokker-Planck equations. We have a seat uh, equivalent to a proximal GKO, and there is an underlying geometry uh, relate to Wasserstein gradient flow, which is equivalent to this scheme. And uh, in, the, in the Gaussian world, uh, when we approximate uh, all this stuff with the Gaussians, we obtain a Burs Wasserstein gradient flow, a proximal Burs GKO, which is the same but uh, here with the Gaussian, and variational Gaussian flow, which is the counterpart of the focal point for Gaussian. And uh, we can show also that there is a, a process associated to the variational Gaussian flow, which is a McQueen Vassar process which is in fact the uh, linear process which is closest to the non-linear SDO1 uh, for some uh, KLD divergent also. Okay, so um, now the observation part. So in the observation part, uh, we use uh, this, uh, the observations uh, Boylan motion. So we have here uh, H, which is uh, the function observations. And uh, the solution is given <coughs> by the Kushner uh, SPD. So it's, uh, this uh, equation is very, uh, quite complicated, so it's not tractable to approximate directly a Gaussian using the Krug-Bugg liver divergence uh, <coughs> using these equations. So we do the same, in fact, we search for approximately the scheme in, the, in this case to, uh, bah, to, to find the Gaussian uh, solution, the Gaussian approximation. So what is the proximal scheme in this case? There is mm -hmm. one. So uh, to introduce the proximal scheme, let's discretize this SDT. So we discretize using the euler naramaya scheme. So it's quite classical for an SD. In this case, the Boyan motion is an increment, in fact, of the Boyan motion, which corresponds exactly to a Gaussian of covariance delta t. So uh, OK, quite nice. So you can write it like, thi like that, and we can uh, write this quantity, which is a Gaussian. The, the probability of the increment conditionally to uh, the state is a Gaussian of mean H delta t and covariance R delta t. It's just raw white So So uh, now we can introduce uh, another proximal scheme, which is the LNNR proximal scheme, which was introduced here. And this proximal scheme, like in GKO, is a discrete time, and at the limit, it gives a solution of the Kushner equation. But the form is different. Here, we, the loss is the integral of P log of this quantity. And the metric, not uh, really metric, the divergence, is uh, the Kullback lever divergence between the current distribution and the past one. Uh, and what they have shown is if you solve this scheme uh, recursively, and if you take the limit, you obtain the solution of the Kushner optimal filter. So what we do, we do exactly the same thing. We, uh, we uh, approximate the solutions by a Gaussian. Uh, you pl plug in Gaussian here in the minimum. Uh, so in this case, uh, we consider a parametric family of, uh, of distributions. Uh, so we consider uh, Q theta, a parametric family of distributions. In the Gaussian case, theta is the ordinal parallel parameters. <laughs> And uh, we search for the critical point with respect to the nat these natural parameters of uh, this uh, proximal scheme. Uh, and we can uh, use approximation of the KL with uh, the Fisher metric uh, when the, 
the distribution, because the distributions are closed. And uh, when you compute the critical point, you, you plug this quantity here, you compute the critical point with respect to the natural parameter, uh, you let uh, uh, the let it go to zero, and uh, you obtain these equations, uh, which look like a natural gradient descent, but not a natural gradient descent, more Bayesian variant of the natural gradient descent, because here we have an expectation on is the, Fisher on the, on the inverse Fisher on the uh, parameter. So uh, quite nice, we have a, a closed form uh, solution. And when we uh, apply this to uh, a Gaussian, with, uh, where the natu par natural parameters are given by this quantity, and when we let the increment of time goes to zero, uh, we obtain, uh, raw weighting of the staff, uh, differential equations, which correspond to the, to the best Gaussian approximation of the Kushner optimal filter. Okay. Uh, so uh, now we have approximate, in one side we have approximate uh, the, the, the Gaussian for the propagation part, in the other side we have approximate the Gaussian for the update part, and now we can put all together supposing the Brian motion are independent, uh, and uh, we obtain uh, this uh, set of equations which is in fact the gener generalization of the kalman bulsi I have uh, introduced in the first slide in the nonlinear case, because here all the matrix uh, are depend on the expectations on the current distributions. That's it, and uh, here are the references uh, on the uncentered Kalman filter, and the, the, first proximal scheme, the prox first proximal scheme I have introduced, and here the second proximal scheme. And there is a set of previous papers we have used. Yeah, we have concluded results of previous papers are present here. Uh, let's obtain these results. And uh, in the future, we'll investigate also uh, the Gaussian particle filter, where we consider mixture of Gaussian rather than Gaussian. And that's all. Thank you for your attention. And if you have uh, any questions, I will be to answer you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I was worried about the 20 pages remaining, but uh, <laughs> it ended well. Yeah. Uh, any questions? Uh, anyone? Um, s I know a bit about Silver's work on invariant Kalman filters and so on. Yeah. Uh, does this uh, have a route towards um, something on uh, geometrics? There is no, they are not related. <laughs> Exploit, they are more uh, related to the use for uh, the estimation of attitude of a system and use uh, geomet the group uh, geometry uh, on group. And here, you know, it's another approach. Uh, there is no, there are not, uh, so, Kushner. Silver Bonabel is a specific <laughs> of the So, Kushner filtering on, on manifolds um, doesn't have. A natural uh, uh, sort of application, or could be related to group. You, you, yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, there, there is, uh, there is a previous work on the approximation of the Kushner optimal filter uh, on the manifold and by pro using projection, mm -hmm. uh, Fisher projection. So they, they, they project the optimal solution of the Kushner optimal filter on the manifold of exponential family. And they obtain uh, equations quite close uh, to this one mm -hmm. uh, using a Fisher Radic using a project. But there is no, yeah, they don't use a group. All right. Okay, well, uh, thanks again. Uh, let's thank the speaker again. and. Uh,